aging paper. So you want that antique look. But lack a time machine to jump a century into the past To bury a notebook, so you can return to the present and dig up your naturally aged paper? Here's something to try instead. Time to experiment with an old tea bag, used coffee grounds, and your watercolor paint supplies. No beverages are harmed in the making of this video. Note, please don't dip your sponge or brush in your parents' coffee. This is considered rude in most universes. First, I'm going to try it with water from a used tea bag. So this brewed a regular cup of tea for a regular amount of time, and then I took that tea bag and I let it soak a little longer. Also, both of these liquids are totally cool now. Very, very much room temperature. And in case it rubs, you might want to do the back sides. You wouldn't want to do this if you had already used marker or paint or anything that might run. It looks like there's really not enough color left in the tea bag after it's already been used once. So I would not recommend that one. We'll let it dry and see how it looks. Now let's try coffee. And again, I didn't want to use up perfectly drinkable coffee. So I took the coffee grounds after it was done brewing, because you can't really brew from that anymore. It tastes super gross. This is looking a lot more promising. I didn't filter out the coffee grounds, but once it dries, I'm expecting I'll just be able to brush those right off. Rinse off my sponge. Yeah, this looks a little, a little more promising. Get that spread out so it's more evenly covered. And clean up the mess. Now you'll need a safe place for these to sit and dry, or it's okay if the table gets wet. I've got plastic down on top of the wood table here. You wouldn't want to do this on an unprotected wood table. That would be really bad for the table. Next up, watercolor. And I want to see how, uh, how their brown does. You can also, of course, make your own mix of shades. But I recommend not mixing it in the palette, but in something separate. Um, if you don't have a tray like this, you could use the lid. Or you could use a little piece of uh, tin foil and fold up the edges. And I thought I was going to have to make a watered-down mix of this color, but I'm actually able to just use a very wet sponge and directly use Oops. palette here. And this method uh, is not getting the paper as wet as the coffee did. 
which means it's less likely to get super wrinkly. I don't know if I like the color as much. Just to experiment, I'm gonna clean off the sponge so I don't cross-contaminate the colors. I'm gonna do a little section where it's just a little bit of green here. And maybe a section with a little bit of yellow. Just to kind of compare once it dries, see how different that makes it look. Now we have to wait. After your paper is totally dry, not just a little dry, not mostly dry, but totally, totally dry, you can put a book on top of it to flatten it out. Now I'm going to say that the coffee grounds were my favorite. The used tea bag didn't really change the color of the paper much. Probably a new tea bag would work better, and I know new tea bags work well for dyeing fabric. The watercolor is a little streakier, and I wasn't super into the color, so if I didn't have coffee, I would probably experiment more with mixing colors to get just the right color um, and creating more of a wash. Um, but the coffee grounds, if you can get your hands on coffee grounds, I think that's the winner. This piece I let mostly dry and then did a second wash with the coffee water. And, uh, and I really liked how that one turned out. So that's kind of a comparison of one layer of coffee water versus two layers of coffee water. Project coming up soon with this one. Warning, not all notebook paper is created equal. So I did this aging process with a pretty recently printed top flight notebook first, and it worked great. Then I used an older Mead notebook, and the printing of the lines totally bled. Now, if that doesn't bother you, that's fine, but you might want to test your notebook paper before you draw or write on it to make sure you like how the aging process turns out.